Hello everyone, I'm Mario and welcome back. I'm very happy to share my latest training with you, uh, Mastering 3D Modeling in Cinema 4D. So this is a complete 3D modeling training for beginners and you will learn everything from how to use the software to advanced 3D modeling techniques. The complete training is divided into six classes. We'll begin with class one. This class is primarily focused on getting ourselves familiar with general modeling tools in Cinema 4D. We will learn how to navigate and customize Cinema 4D interface and how to use basic modeling tools that we'll extensively use in our future projects. Every tool is explained in great detail so that we can maximize our workflow efficiency later. After the introduction of general modeling tools, we're going to cover the basics of topology and complex poles, both in theory and in practice. Class two will be our most important class. In this class, we're going to get ourselves familiar with theory and basics of clean topology. Our focus here is to establish a solid foundation and understanding of general modeling rules. Regardless of what you want to model in the future, being a robot, car, tank, anything really, uh, all of these objects cannot be made without a solid understanding of topology rules. So here's what we're going to cover. A general overview for sub-D and non-sub-D modeling techniques, how to handle edges and their behavior flow in sub-D modeling, and how to handle and avoid common mistakes like pinching and distortions in meshes. We'll go in great detail on edge flow redirection techniques, we'll practice edge flow with multiple examples, and we'll learn how to work in stages or passes. In class three, we're going to implement everything we learned in previous classes and start our practice by creating a simple headset. All lessons are recorded in real time and there is a step-by-step -step explanation of each action made. Class 4 is where we start working with more complex topology. In this class, we're going to explore complex shapes while designing a drone from scratch. In this step-by-step, 4-hour -step, session, you will learn how to approach a 3D model creation and deal with situations and challenges that a project of this size could hold. We're going to cover topics like blocking out main landmarks, refining the shapes, establishing supportive edges, uh, discuss what makes a clean topology, establishing proper edge flows and detailing process. In class 5, we're going to focus on a project of a larger scale and more advanced design. In this step-by-step 12-hour -step session, you will learn how to approach a portfolio-ready robotic 3D design and how to deal with situations and challenges that one project of this scale will hold. We're going to cover topics like locking out our primary forms, refining the shapes, advancing the design in stages, uh, handling support edges, edge flow and edge redirection, implementing the formers, refining and cleaning up the design, and finally the detailing process. But this is not all and we have one more class left. So class six is reserved for critique, feedback and assignments review. So sometimes watching video tutorials might not be enough and we can never be sure are we actually developing our skill in a proper way. So in class six, we're going to take a look at student project files and assignment submissions. We're going to talk about potential problems we can encounter and how to avoid bad modeling habits early on. So if you ever want to have a guided in-depth critique and feedback on your progress, this is the class where we explore all the risks and solutions to the most common 3D modeling problem. But this is still not all, and as a bonus, we're going to explore rendering in Earthshift and talk about efficient ways to let our scenes, uh, how to work with materials, and how to get clean-looking renders. 